Nah. Think it's gonna last a long time? Surely not. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name's Eamon. Today we're gonna to talk about the best three types of boots to wear on your Harley Davidson motorcycle and what not to buy. Now, it can be an expensive investment, motorcycle boots, so there are five things that you need to consider before you make any change to what you're doing now or before you commit to any purchase. There are so many different styles of motorcycle boots and shoes on the market. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. I've been riding for over 40 years now, geez. So I think I can offer a valuable opinion on what to buy and what to stay away from. Make sure you stay to the end of the video and I'll let you know what I currently wear and why and also what to avoid. And of course, let me know in the comments, what are your favorite boots? What do you wear on your Harley and why? All right, so I've used a variety of different boots on my motorcycles over the years, and that includes dirt bike boots or motocross boots, uh, general purpose boots, GP boots like military ones, hiking boots, uh, runners or sneakers, blunt stones, purpose-built motorcycle boots, you know, boots made for the track, there are a fair few issues I've discovered over the years, and I guess some motorcycle boots tick the boxes and cover all of these things and make your um, experience with them a lot more enjoyable. So I think what we should all consider is number one, safety, number two, functionality, number three, comfort, number four, longevity, and number four, Five would be looks or aesthetics, which I think is important. A lot of people disregard. Let me know if you think that the look of your motorcycle boots is actually important, or is it just all about safety? All right, so we're gonna start with runners or sneakers as some people call them. I think we all know that they're completely unsafe and unsuitable to use on your motorcycle and we've probably all ridden our motorcycles just wearing whatever we're wearing at the time. I know I do, sometimes I jump on my bike and go to the shop, I don't bother getting changed, I just jump on exactly as I am at the, at the time and that often means I'm wearing runners. So. You know, the beauty of runners, of course, is they're comfortable and you don't look like you've just come off a motorbike when you're walking around, but I guess if you have an accident, they're gonna come off. They offer, they offer no protection at all. So that would be probably everybody's, um, la well, not everybody's, that would be a lot of people's last choice on a motorcycle. I do know that some people wear runners <laughs> all the time on their motorbike each to their own. If we just talk boots in general, there are a lot of different types. So my first ever motorcycle boots were motocross boots. I was a, a young lad at the time. I just got my license or my L plates. They were big, heavy, offered heaps of protection. The sole was like as stiff as concrete. They had a, a, a metal cap on the outside that would destroy everything that I accidentally touched. They were great for uh, keeping cars away from you, let's just say that. You would probably say that um, they are fit for purpose, probably better off-road than on-road. They were really big and heavy, not very pleasant to wear around the place. Now, I've also used uh, general purpose boots, like military boots, if you're not aware of the term, GP boots. They um, offered a little bit of protection, you know, they come up nice and high and they lace up tight. It's thin leather, they're not really designed for wearing on a motorcycle. They're reasonably comfortable, they're cheap. I've also tried hiking boots. Hiking boots are very comfortable, they are waterproof. The problem with them was the, um, the soles weren't really strong enough. I actually took them dirt bike riding with somebody. I went with a group of experienced off-road riders. They all had electric starts, I had a kickstart. It took one whole day to destroy a beautiful pair of hiking boots. The uh, kickstart just cut straight through the sole. So probably if you're gonna spend that amount of money on boots, you would get something a little bit more suitable instead of spending your money on hiking boots. Probably one of my favorite pairs of boots are these Red Wing Iron Rangers up the front here. Can't recommend them at all for motorcycles. Fantastic boots, probably my favorite boots that I wear all the time. Problem with them is, I wouldn't say the sole is slippery, but it's too slippery to use on a motorcycle if the ground is not um, perfect. So it can be quite dangerous wearing something that doesn't have a, a good sole. And um, I've nearly dropped the bike just by wearing those boots. Now, the boots are actually fantastic, so I can't say anything negative about them, except they're not designed for motorcycles. They do offer a little bit of protection. The leather is very thick. 
but um, I think we can do better. The only advantage of those is you don't really look like you've come off your motorcycle when you arrive at your destination. You can look a bit more casual. And then of course I spent many years riding my Harley in Blundstones. They were trendy at the time, <laughs> um, reasonably comfortable. The problem with them is no protection at all. I think they were um, in fashion at the time. No protection at all, elastic sided. So if you have an accident, they're gonna come off straight away and give you no protection. I think I just wore them when I was a young guy because you know they were trendy at the time. I thought they looked good. I'd never wear them on a motorcycle again. That brings us to work boots like these. These are um, steel blue work boots. Nothing bad to say about them, they've lasted um, over 10 years now, I used to ride, they used to be my motorcycle boots that I used to ride my Harley with. But nothing bad to say about work boots, they're pretty tough. I've worn these on my Harley for many, many years, just because they were lying around and they were tough. They do offer some protection, they don't go up high enough, so you can probably get better. They've got a um, steel cap, they're pretty tough, they last through anything. The disadvantage, of course, is, well, you know, you get off your motorcycle, you're wearing what like, work boots, so it depends on where you're going, I guess. And the reason I changed from those was I, I I think I got a Thruxton R at some stage and they're quite chunky these. That wouldn't fit between the pegs and the gear lever. So I ended up getting something else. Uh, you could probably say, you probably give that a tick for, give it a half tick for functionality. You give them a tick for, a half tick for safety. Uh, you give them a massive tick for comfort because they're very comfortable. I don't know about looks, that's up to you. I think we can all do better than work boots. If you don't want to spend any money, I see a lot of people wearing work boots on their Harleys. I guess they're, they've already got work boots, they don't have to purchase something separate. Probably a, um, a half decent option. It's certainly better than some of these other boots and um, certainly better than runners. They're cheap, they're tough, they're comfortable. They're not waterproof. I don't know, maybe you can buy waterproof work boots. Oh, I've got no idea. Now, I guess the other thing with work boots is even though they're pretty tough, they don't have specific ankle protection and they don't go up very high and there's no sort of motorcycle rating on them. Now, I'm not sure that even matters, but I guess um, you don't really know what you're buying. And I can't say, I can't criticize them because the company that made these obviously didn't design them for uh, motorcycles. So we can't say anything bad. And these boots have lasted a long time, well, over 10 years now. The sole is starting to deteriorate. It's like the rubber is, um, disintegrating, but I mean, geez, I've got, they're pretty cheap. I've got a lot of value out of those. And that brings us to purpose-built motorcycle shoes, which are a good substitute for runners. If we get rid of those. All right, these are like um, motorcycle shoes, I guess. I've had these for uh, maybe five, six, five, six years. I do wear them occasionally, not, not all the time. So these are specific motorcycle shoes, or I guess you can call them boots. They're pretty good. They, uh, they have ankle protection, leather on top. They've got a non-slip sole. Pretty easy to um, get on and off. They've got zips up the side. They are waterproof, CE certified, if that's important. So I guess you would give them a tick for safety. I think we can do better though. They'd still get a tick for safety. They get a tick for comfort. They get a tick for looking good. They're certainly functional. They're waterproof. They're um, warm, they're comfortable. They're easy to take on and off. They look good after you jump off the bike. They're Italian, I think they're Gan or something Gan, or I'll put the brand down the bottom somewhere. And the beauty of these is if you can sort of hide the fact that you've arrived on your motorcycle, they look a bit more like runners or shoes. So there are a lot of safety features in these. They've got like ankle protection. They've got like a um, protection in the heel. They've got a non-slip sole. They've got a Gore-Tex lining, which is breathable and waterproof. So they're pretty good. So I guess they tick all the boxes, but they're not as good as proper motorcycle boots, and I don't think they'd last as long, but they're pretty good. And that brings us to proper motorcycle boots. So I guess this is going up a level in safety. These are proper motorcycle boots. They're, um, so these have got like a greasy type of leather on the uh, top. They're actually waterproof. Got like a uh, full grain leather upper. They've got a non-slip sole. They come up high, they've got protection in them. I think these are like, it's supposed to be a bit retro. They're tough as nails, they are very comfortable, they're waterproof, 
they um, breathe fine. Actually, I'm pretty happy with these actually. These are uh, Style Martin, I think the brand is. They're CE certified, so I guess somebody's given them a tick of approval for safety. They probably will last forever. <laughs> You can, um, I don't know what the type of sole is, but it's that type where you can get them resold if you wear out the um, bottom. But they don't look like they'll ever wear out anyway. So I guess they're gonna last for a lot of years. I find them incredibly comfortable and easy to wear. The negatives are you are wearing a big pair of boots when you arrive at your de destination, but um, sometimes that can't be helped. And the only negative I can say about these boots is the shoelaces are probably thinner than what I would buy, and this one's starting to wear out. Big deal, I've got to buy a new pair of shoelaces one day. They've lasted, I've probably had those for about five years now. I don't think I've ever cleaned them. They've lasted, except for mud. They've lasted well, and I think they're gonna last for a long time, if not ever. So these definitely tick the boxes for safety, comfort, functionality. They weren't cheap, I guess that's the, um, the biggest negative, but um, I'm certainly getting a lot of use out of them. Now these are actually my favorite boots. I wear them all the time. The only time I don't wear them is if it's like 35 plus degrees, it's absolutely boiling hot. I'm going for a ride. These are, I try and wear as little as possible, so I go back down to the um, to this type of thing. Apart from that, I just find they're very comfortable, so I just wear them all the time. I almost forgot. That's what my wife wears on the bike. <laughs> don't, don't do that. So I guess at the end of the day, these are the two that I wear the most. I can highly recommend both of them. They're purpose-built, they're comfortable, they're safe, they're, um, they look good in my opinion, they're easy to wear, they're easy to take on and off. These have got like um, those, there's a name for them, quick do-up lace type thing, you just hook them around. So get it right, get yourself the proper gear and stay safe. Speaking of getting it right, if you're interested in making your Harley more functional and still look good, have a look at my video, the nine essential mods to your Harley Davidson motorcycle. I'll link it here somewhere. And as usual, it's time to go. So give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe, support your local content creators. And if you didn't like the video, as usual, you have the power to give me the thumbs down. But let me know in the comments why you didn't like the video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.